Hello everybody, welcome back to another Miner Man Douglas video. Today I will be teaching you how to make mining simulator from start to finish. And this is for complete beginners or even if you're intermediate. So mining simulator is a game that is made by many people. Basically the gist of it is you mine some blocks and you get a point and then it resets. You mine more, get more points. Then you rank up, you prestige, you unlock new areas, you can get more per mine and then just progress through it. So without further ado, let's dive right into the video. So for Mining Simulator, what you need to know is you need to know things like about regions, but we'll be going over, so I'm going to make a qu quick little mining part of here with dirt and coarse dirt. Both dirt and coarse dirt have like the same mining speeds, but it just makes it look nicer. So let's say, say you're up there, you get a shovel, and you mine, and you switch your game mode of survival, which is what you need, but you get nothing at all. Now the way mining simulator works is when you mine, you enter a region. Basically you enter this region, and you get stuff, but you're probably like, well, how does this reset? Well, make sure the permission of a guest make sure they're in survival and they have the ability to not build make sure the build's off so they're being survival basically what happens is they use their shovel and they glitch through the block for like a split second then once it glitch through it gets goes to the region then they immediately go back up because the block is placed again so there is no resetting just like many people think it's really pretty simple. The mine. So the first step, you just create the region. So go to house settings, pro tools, and get the region selector. Select one corner of this, and then the other corner. And make sure one's point A and one's point B. Left click one corner, right click another. Then go to the housing menu and go to regions. And create a new region and name it whatever the mine's called. For mine, I'm just gonna do dirt mine. Then on entry actions, add a change stat. Now this depends on what stat you use. For this, I'm just gonna change stat and cash because I wanna use cash or experience. So let's do XP. So let's say XP increment by however many you want. This is the starter mine, so I'm gonna do five. And now just for kind of more, I'm going to display action bar. And then I'm going to play a sound. Go to add action, play sound, and then on second page or pick up. But since I am the owner and I can't, will always have build ability, owner cannot test this. You will need another tester. I'm going to put myself in survival. And if I mine this, I get plus 5 XP. Now I have my sounds turned off, so that's the reason you're not hearing the sound. But, as you see it works just as intended. But you want to be able to see the XP. So what we need to do is go to the scoreboard editor. And delete everything you have. Now the first line should be a title, make sure it's a custom line. Just name it something like Mining Simulator. Then do a blank line. Then add a new custom line. Which, this can be cash. This can be anything. So, whatever it is, do like cash or something. So, for me, it's XP. So, XP colon. Then, whatever stat you chose. Like, for example, if you chose cash, you do percent percent stat underscore XP percent percent. And then click it and see it says XP 20. Now, I'm going to add some colors. And there we go, so I have the XP. So if I jump in here, I get 5 XP every time. Because every time they dig, they get 5 XP and it plays the sound. That's simple. Now on the scoreboard next, just like the others, you want to do how many XP to rank up. So I'm going to go here, custom line. And for this, you won't need any stats. Just write something like 200 XP to rank up. Just 
or something simple like that. Now that I've played around with the colors, what you want to do is ring. So go to the scoreboard and you want to do another blank line. Then add a custom line. For this, you want to do ring. So I'm going to do the same thing. Rank colon and then percent percent stat underscore rank percent percent. Now later on when you add this rank NPC, you want to make sure you use the, this exact same thing rank. And then below it add something like however many ranks it is to rank up. So for this I'm probably going to do just 120 ranks. In my bad, I meant prestige, but now that we have that, then you want to add prestiges to the scoreboard. So go to the scoreboard editor, blank line, then prestige. Again, percent percent, stat underscore, and you may think I'm going to write prestige, but due to the limit of the anvil, I'm just going to write pressed, and then percent percent. And congratulations, your scoreboard is actually complete, so you don't need anything else in the scoreboard. So you have the mine, you mine, you get things. If you're using coal or emerald or something like that, they have to mine, so give them a shot. I mean, pickaxe. So they'll spawn in, they'll mine, and they'll get things. Next, we need to add a shop. So just add a shop near it. Then below the item frames, you want signs. You can edit these later on, but you want signs under them. Then under the signs, you want to go to housing menu items, then get an action button. Now the next part is a more difficult part. You need to actually create the items. Now I highly, highly, highly recommend in a staff room to put a chest and put a backup of all your items, like a replicate chest. Now for the sake of this video, this is a private house, so I'm just gonna put the chest behind here, but for you, you obviously don't wanna do that. Now you may have noticed I have two sides, but you're probably like, I have dirt here. So I'm going to explain what tools you need. So first is the dirt and the coarse dirt, which is both for the dirt. Then there's sand. For the sand, they'll be using red and regular sand. Those are the two ones you need for shovels. Then for axes, you'll need, of course, all the wood types. And then for the pickaxe, you'll need the stone or the ores. It's like coal and iron. So really you'll need four different types, but for the sake of this video, we are going to get rid of the wood type and just keep it simple, two different types. So we got to decide this, which side is going to be which. So for this, I'm going to put right side shovels and left side pickaxes. So now it's time. So for this, for my specific game, I have five upgrades. You want four to five upgrades. So I'm gonna get a shovel. And do this for every single one. I'm gonna do two diamond ones, but one of them will have an ability. Then there's a command called slash edit, which we mentioned earlier, but you do slash edit, you can edit the name of the item, which is the top part. Then the lore is basically like what's under the item. Now for lore, for blank things, you can just delete everything in it and it'll be blank. 
Now here's a time lapse of me creating my items. Now as a quick note before we get too far, um, for each one you want more efficiency. So for example, this trash shovel here, I may want no efficiency, or maybe efficiency one. And then for this one, maybe efficiency 2, 3, 4, 5, it really depends. But really, you really could keep the exact same efficiency for all shovels because it upgrades each one. The diamond, more efficiency for this one. So I created mine, I created five different ones, each with a different name, and in all of them have efficiency one, but obviously wood goes fast, I mean slower than like diamond. But with the shiny shovel added efficiency two. So I'm gonna add them to the item frames. But you want something like, for example, like an ability. So for the ability, you go to lore, and I'm gonna do blank lines to have enchantment. Then I'm gonna type EN6 and L ability. Haste 2. Then for the second line, I just wrote right click to activate. That way, once I hover over it, it'll be simple. So now you have all of them. Now is the time where you back up your shovels, get the chest and back them up. Now that you have backups, it's finally time to make the shop. Now the signs here will say the name of the shovel, so for example for the trash shovel, I'm gonna write in quotations trash shovel. Then for this I will cost XP, so for this I'd write cost 250 XP. And now for this one, I do the exact same thing and I'm gonna do this for the rest of the shovels. I added all of them, now before I forget, Earlier we added an ability to this. Now you want to do slash edit and to add the ability, go to edit actions, and then apply potion effect, and I'm gonna do haste since my ability is haste. Duration three seconds, and it's gonna be haste two. And make sure this is ticked off that way. They have to hold left click and right click in while they're mining, and they have haste two the whole time. Now this is a smart idea, because once they get the highest shovel, which they probably will, it'll prevent AFKing, because AFKing with one single um, part of your mouse is super easy, but with two it's much harder, so it's helpful there. Now you don't need to update the item frame. Now how you're going to get the item is sneak clicking the action button. So sneak click it, add action, and click conditional. For conditions, go to conditions, add condition, stat requirement, and do whatever your currency is, mine's XP, and if it's greater than or equal to whatever your amount is, mine's 250. Now let's say yours is a thousand, do not add the um, commas, just leave them out. Now on if actions, if so, it's going to give item whatever they purchased and click allow multiple then just play a sound like orb pickup. So here's a useful command I mentioned in all the videos talking about stats, edit slash edit stats. You do, you do slash edit stats, and then the name, and then whatever you want, like XP set 1000. Now if I get it, I'll get a trash shovel. But what if they don't have enough? That's where you sneak right click, go to the condition, and else actions, 
in the chat message and do ANC and L. Not enough XP. Or whatever your currency is. Then add action, note sound, and go to the very end and click villager now. If I keep on clicking it, as you see it can just get unlimited. So what you do is go to condition, if actions, and it's going to change stat. XP or whatever your currency is, and then it's going to decrement by however much you pay, like 250. As you see, I don't have enough, and it won't allow me to purchase it. Now that's exactly how to do it for one. You do the exact same thing for every single one, except instead of price being 250, you do 800. I'll see you when I finish. And now I've added all of them. As you can see, I don't have any XP, so all of them say not enough XP. As you see, I've made a small little mistake, but I can fix that later. Now you will later want to do the same for the axes, or I mean pickaxes, but let's say you have the best shovel in the game, and you're mining away. What do you do next? You buy even better shelves, but there's none, so you rank up. Now it's time to add NPCs, so if you go to the items, you'll see NPCs. We go more in depth on NPCs in our items video, which I'll link above in the card. But they're basically non-playable characters that you can right-click for actions. Now one of these I'm gonna name rank up. And one of these I'm gonna name Prestige. And then for this, I recommend looking at players because you know the hologram always follows the player. Now you can choose whatever skin you want, but I'm just gonna choose a random skin for now. But how do you do it when you rank up? Well, just like the shop, what you're going to do is in the rank of NPC, go to conditionals, the conditional, the stat requirement, but instead of XP, well, this is going to be XP, so XP is greater than or equal to 200. Then if so, it's going to change rank by 1. So it's going to be rank increment by 1. And then it's going to and display a title this time and it's gonna be it's gonna say something like rank up complete and then for the bottom part you can do something like congrats just adding small things like this makes it seem more professional then play a sound like orb pickup Now that's for the rank of NPC, then go to else actions and do the same thing. If they don't have enough, say not enough XP. Then play, play the sound, village no. Now for prestige, it's actually the exact same thing except for prestige, but remember the scoreboard, we use press. So go to, go to conditionals, stat requirement, rank if it's greater than or equal to 120 then it's gonna rank prestige if so it's gonna change prestige by one then of course do the chat message and play sound here's a quick time lapse And I've completed the prestige NPC. Now for this I highly recommend using slash edit stats to like slash edit stats rank or er, Iron Man Douglas XP set this and test it out. Like make sure your ranking up works. 
as you see, my, I'm raking up a lot and it's updating on the scoreboard. But, as you can see, I kind of forgot the XP. So what you want to do is go to If Actions and make sure, if so, it is going to still rank increment 1, but you also want to decrement XP. So, XP decrement by 200 or whatever amount you have. And same for Prestige. So rank decrement 120. I'm gonna get myself to rank 120 and make sure it all works. And you should do the exact same as I'm doing. And it worked. So so far we've added a rank up, we've added prestige. You've added a shop to upgrade your shovel and do this. Now there's many more things you can add. You can add more things over here like a new thing for like a coal mine. Now with this coal mine you could just do the exact same thing. Let's do a quick overview. So my challenge for you as we end the video today is to add two more things. One for coal and one for sand. And make them working. It's a quick overview. Use Pro Tools. You select one corner, the other corner, you make a region, and in that region you increment XP by however many much however much you want. And you also display an action bar and play a sound. And for this coal mine, I have a challenge for you to complete this other wall. The wall of pickaxes. Make your own pickaxes, make your own action buttons, fill the signs. And you'll have a sort of complete a mining simulator. Now there's many more things you can add, these are ideas. You can add a war zone, and with regions, turn PvP on. And if you want me to make a part to this, to this video, tell me in the comments below. I have no plans at the moment, but tell me in the comments, and if you really want it, I can make a part 2. In the part 2, I could add more areas, and show you exactly how. I could add pickaxes and axes. I could even show you how to make killable mobs. But thanks for watching today's video, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit the bell. Thanks for watching.